Yeah, well, hello, my name is Sean Ross. I'm here, I'm the maker of the Pharaoh show. I'm here to tell you and to tell you goodbye because um, on May 30th, th on May 30, um, 2030 in the evening, I got arrested by a anti-terrorist squad by the Swiss police, a masked man. It was a real rendition. They put a bandage over my eyes, um, three guns on my head, um, handcuffs, foot cuffs, and um, yeah, so I, you know, they, only for putting uh, my videos on YouTube. Since then, I got massive threats of the Swiss police and the, well, I, I had, I've been having them for years now, but now it's getting really worse. Uh, massive um, death threats of the Justice Department and the Swiss police. Whenever I contact, I, I communicate on the internet, on the YouTube again, um, I will end up like Wolfgang Umfogel, the Austrian guy that sold um, information about the banks to Germany. And, well, he got assassinated in two weeks only in a Swiss prison. So I got massive death threats. You know by these uh, these Swiss criminals there are no human rights at all here in Switzerland my son ten years ago they um, he got abducted he got kidnapped I never seen him again by the Swiss authorities I don't know how he is if he's still alive nothing yeah okay so I just say goodbye and um, all the best and I really think humanity is uh, is ending up in total slavery and humanity is too stupid to organize I will just uh, end the um, end it with the two th I, I, I will leave you with two other thoughts one the one thing is uh, first first of all uh, democracy how did it start it well in the Middle Ages uh, there were kings and before and they were all pharaohs or um, descendants of the pharaohs all Tsar and uh, these Tsar, there were more and more of them, and they all wanted to be kings. But there, were, there wasn't enough place for all these kings. So war started off, you know, and all these Tsar, you know, they started a little, like, you know, a little kingdom for themselves. And, well, so there were lots of little kingdoms all over in Europe. And um, so the, they were wars for hundreds or thousands of years between them. And, of course... They didn't risk their lives, only the Norman, normal Europeans, they, they risked their lives and died. So, and then they came together, like in a, in a pre-Bilderberg meeting. It already existed then, in a, under another name. They, they always changed names over history, through history. And they came together and said, well, we can't go on like that. Because we're destroying everything, we can't build up the new world order. So we have to come up with a new system. And then they found a new system. Anybody, all pharaohs can be king for four years. And um, this is how democracy started off, actually. And then they voted and they said, well, who's going who's gonna to vote for us? I mean, we can't, it's, you know, every, we all know it, and there's nobody who's uh, uh, imp impartial. We, we need somebody impartial. And then they, they cynically came up with a brilliant idea. And so, well, we have this stupid people, these stupid animals, the Europeans. We'll have them vote. And the, the, the people, the demos. So, the demo, demo, democracy... Uh, which means the uh, the people is ruling, and this is how democracy started. The second thing I leave you with is um, nowadays, if you're a father, you don't have any more rights. I mean, children belong to the state. They can take them away. They can do with them what they want in order to make a garden gnome of them. They don't want any fathers to say, "Well, listen, son, life is ab is is about this and this, and it's like that. And be careful with this," you know. And this is the old pharaonic idea of the Sisters of Isis, which is um, already completely uh, here in Switzerland, you know. 
which are, which means the sisters of Isis, of course. Especially if you're a foreigner and you have a child with a Swiss woman, well, you, you should forget about the boy or your child. Isis, uh, the, this, this is why in all churches you see I-H-S, which means Isis, Horus and Seth. And Isis, the witch, she wanted to create man new from scratch. You know, like how make a dog out of a wolf. I mean, you have to um, raise it from puppy. So with this in respect, Isis, she had her, her, her man, Osiris, being killed by his brother. Seth. Well, it, it, he wasn't his real brother, but just the uh, the symbolic of um, that man should be brothers, in order to um, to uh, prevent all these wars, because the settings of all these wars, the First World War, the Second World War, and all these, the the idea behind it was that uh, the uh, the witches could. Um, uh, execute the idea of uh, Isis that means to uh, to raise man not after the image of God but after the image of the witches yeah so Os Osiris was dead and she went alone um, she she hid at the, in the at the Nile River and she gave birth to a uh, to a child and his name was Horus and uh, she could raise him from scratch together with the uh, with the other witches and uh, this is what it means, I I H S, and this is the idea about the uh, behind the uh, the uh, the general slavery in which we are living. I mean, it's much easier to rule women. You know, you just pretend they have all the power. Then it is easy to rule over. A pack of uh, intelligent men, yeah. And I really believe now. I mean, I think humanity is lost. Humanity will end up in total slavery. Uh, we already are in total slavery, and uh, nobody can organize. Uh, humanity are just a bunch of sheep. It's just a lost case, and um, I tried my best to uh, show you things, and uh, but the uh, the terror is too big, and um, I'm forced to stop now. I wish you all the best, and uh, yeah, that was it. Bye.